Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Singaporean Talks Money. So do remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you have been enjoying the content that I've been putting out. So today let's talk about how investing is not just about buying in, but it is also about selling as well. And I'll be sharing about some of my sell positions so far. So I've been investing since 2017. And for me, I've made countless buy orders, but in contrast, I've only done a handful of sell orders. In fact, I feel that I have some kind of phobia or fear with selling um, or initial to insert the sell order, even if it proves to be beneficial to the portfolio in the long term. So let's talk about why buying seems great to me but selling seems scary. So I love buying stocks or cryptocurrencies because it looks great on my portfolio. The number increases and I feel like it adds onto my assets. On the other hand, when I sell, I see my portfolio value drop and it feels like the decrease scares me, causing me some fear when I want to sell. This is of course not the right way to think, Sometimes we sell to secure some profits, and that is not wrong. If you have other better investment opportunities, it is always good to be taking profits, as it shows that your holdings have grown and proven right. Just as no one can buy at the bottom, no one can really sell at the top as well. If you feel that a stock or business has changed in terms of its business model, or it's not profitable as much as what you think, taking profit and selling might be the right way to go. So selling can prove to be a winner in the long run. So I'll be sharing some examples of my sell actions, both losers and winners. So for me, although I do not have much sell transactions, I will share on the few sell, tra sell transactions that I did. So the first stock I sold for a profit was SGX. I bought 100 shares at $7.27 each. And this was back in 2018. Uh, after I saw the prices went up to $7.57, I sold it off for a profit of $30. This was way back in my uh, early days of investing and was my first profit taking. And after selling, uh, SGX went soaring high and I regretted selling it to be honest although I went back in and bought it back but this was my first experience of selling. So next is first read. It is actually the first read that I bought and gave me pretty nice dividends and I wanted to hold it on longer if possible but bad news hits and I just found that the earnings and future direction of the company was not what I expected it to be. So I bought 1,000 shares at a price of $1.20 each and I in the end sold it off in 2020 at $0.54. Cents. Yep, you saw that right. The stock price just nosedived and I sold it at more than uh, half the value that I bought it at. But overall, I'm glad that I didn't hold on to it. I suffered a loss of about $656. Uh, if I included dividends, my loss was about $400. So I also sold off Lemonade. And this stock was actually a buy position purely based off Chicken Genius. And I also sold it off in February 2021 when he said that he was selling his positions. Not a smart way to follow someone else, but I did profit from this uh, position. I bought 14 shares of it at $106 and I sold it off at about $192 each. So this gave me a profit of about $1,200. Although I did go back and buy one share of it at a high of $150 US as I had a few vouchers from Tiger Brokers and decided to just initiate that position, which was definitely a wrong choice as the price has now dropped sustained 
substantially. And I'm just glad that I let it off. Yeah, because it was purely bought based on Chicken Genius. Yeah. So Amara was also another position that I sold as it was just part of the shopping spree where I bought random stocks at low prices when I first started out investing. Hence, it was sold off as part of a housekeeping exercise. And also because it, it is a, an, a hospitality stock providing accommodations, which I don't find that is good in the few years or future from now, although it might recover, but it was such a small position so I just sold it off for a loss of about $46. And lastly, I recently sold off Nikko AM STI ETF. And uh, this is mainly to channel the funds elsewhere, which would have better growth. Partly also because I have SPDR STI ETF. So letting go of Nikko AM STI ETF, which is similar, was done. I sold that for a loss of about hundred and two dollars but I received about three hundred and forty four uh, dollars in dividends so I was glad that I sold that because the funds were channeled to one Tesla share and some uh, AMD shares which have grown since then yep so uh, I bought the AMD shares at about ninety five dollars each which yeah proved to be quite well so, do you sell your holdings when you have substantial profits or do you just hold on to them as long as their business model and system has not changed? So everyone has different investing methods and there really is no right or wrong as long as you don't lose money. Thank you for staying till the end. Do like, subscribe to my channel and stay on for more content from me. Thank you.